Hi, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Welcome back to TCM and tonight's lineup of films honoring International Holocaust Remembrance Day, which commemorates the anniversary of the liberation of the death camp at Auschwitz, January 27th, 1945. If you've been with us throughout the day, we just presented the TCM premiere of the landmark Holocaust documentary Shoah. Up next, another TCM premiere, a 2021 documentary from director Jean-Christophe Klotz titled Filmmakers for the Prosecution. The doc centers on the Nuremberg trials that began in November 1945 when high-ranking Nazi officials were brought before an international court of prosecutors and jurors and tried for their crimes against humanity. The Nuremberg trials were unprecedented on a number of levels. One aspect, though, was especially innovative. For the first time in a major trial, motion pictures were used as eyewitness testimony. Throughout the war, the Nazis meticulously recorded their crimes as a point of pride. In the end, the footage was used to help convict them. The documentary we're about to see follows two men who raced against the clock to gather footage to submit as evidence before the trial began and before the Nazis could finish destroying it. Those two men were brothers. They happened to be Hollywood royalty. Bud Schulberg and his younger brother, Stuart, sons of former Paramount studio chief B.P. Schulberg. Bud later won an Oscar for his screenplay for On the Waterfront. He also wrote A Face in the Crowd, both of those films, for Aaliyah Kazan. In 1945, the Schulbergs were assigned to the field photographic branch of the War Department's Office of Strategic Services, the OSS. The unit was commanded by another Hollywood legend, director John Ford. The brothers were sent to Berlin to gather as much film as they could from Nazi records. Ultimately, they were able to produce two films that were presented at trial, an hour-long film about the brutality of the concentration camps, the death camps, and a four-hour documentary that proved that the Nazis' crimes had been premeditated. Here is the remarkable story of their efforts from 2021, produced by Stuart Schulberg's daughter, Sandra Schulberg, directed by Jean-Christophe Klotz, filmmakers for the prosecution. Bud and Stuart Schulberg were the sons of one of Hollywood's first movie moguls, B.P. Schulberg, who ran Paramount Pictures in the 1920s and 30s. Bud Schulberg entered the industry as a screenwriter in the late 1930s. In 1941, Bud became famous for writing the novel What Makes Sammy Run, an indictment of corruption and greed in Hollywood it is really a must-read for TCM fans. Stuart Schulberg was just beginning a career in journalism when World War II came to the United States. Both brothers enlisted. Stuart served in the Marines. Bud became a lieutenant in the Navy. After the war, Stuart Schulberg became an executive producer on The Today Show at NBC, while Bud became an Oscar-winning screenwriter, writing the scripts for two of Aaliyah Kazan's best films, On the Waterfront and A Face in the Crowd. Like Kazan, Bud Schulberg cooperated with the House Committee on Un-American Activities, naming names, helping to derail the careers of the people he identified. In the meantime, Stuart Schulberg finished another film about the Nuremberg trials in 1948, though it never had a U.S. release. It was nearly lost for good until his daughter stumbled upon it and restored the film in 2009. And that's the movie we have coming up from 1948. Nuremberg is next on TCM. Next on TCM, Nuremberg, then Woman in Hiding, and later, The Children's Hour. Spend time with TCM tonight.